Kiki Kail Public Charter School, the applicant is requesting for a use permit. This is the location map. The subject property is highlighted in red and located at the northeast corner of Kuava and Kalanikoa Street intersection in the South Hilo District. The applicant is requesting a use permit to allow the relocation of a public charter school into a 10,500 square foot portion of an existing facility situated on 1.2042 acres of land within the industrial commercial mixed use district. The school will consist of a maximum of 100 students in grades K through 2, 6 teachers, and 4 operations and support staff. Kaumiki Kaeo was approved as a public charter school in 2001 by the Hawaii State Public Charter School Commission. The charter school contract for Kaumiki Kaeo was renewed through the end of June 2021. The applicant provided this life safety site plan showing the proposed area in, outlined in yellow. The proposed staff parking is shown in green, and the egress for the students and staff is proposed onto Kuaba Street. This is the zoning map. The subject property is highlighted in red and currently zoned industrial commercial mixed use district, shown in the twilight color. The industrial zoning is shown in gray, commercials in the pink, and open in the bright green. This is the state land use boundary map. The subject property is situated within the state land use urban district. This is the general plan land use pattern allocation guide map or LUPEG map. The subject property is designated as medium density urban. This is the special management area or SMA map. As you can see, the subject property is entirely within the SMA. This is an aerial photograph of the property at the corner of Kalanikoa and Kuava Streets. The approximate area for the proposed school is outlined in yellow. To eliminate the potential traffic or queuing of vehicles on county roads, there is now a one-way ingress from the Kalanikoa Street entrance, which proceeds to the back of the building for student drop-off and pickup, with the Kaumiki Kaeo staff standing by to facilitate the student drop-off and pickup. Egress is proposed onto Kuava Street. The proposed parking for the staff is shown in green. This photo was taken standing across Kuava Street looking directly at the subject property. This photo was taken standing in the parking lot of the school looking towards Kuava Street. As part of the school's traffic safety measures, these cones are set out to prevent access into the parking lot while school is in session. This photo shows a designated egress onto Kuava Street. These are interior photos of the areas occupied by the school. From left to right is a picture of the classroom, the kitchen area leading to the bathroom area here, and the common room. The planning director respectfully recommends approval with conditions of this use permit. This morning, you have also received a copy of added conditions, which will be condition number two. All of the other conditions will be renumbered. This added condition addresses the life of the permit, which will be five years from the effective date of this permit. I'm, I'm just curious uh, why in a commercial mixed use area, why is it that a use permit is required because of the SMA area? Or I mean, I'm just curious why you can't have a school in a commercial building. I, I, I can't answer for originally why they put that in the code, but I can assume that this is actually industrial, commercially zoned property, and so in the industrial type zoning it requires the special or the use permit for a school in that probably to be able to uh, just um, evaluate the uses in relation to the industrial uses that might be in that particular zoning um, in commercial zoning schools are 
my understanding are outright permitted. But this is, again, an industrial commercial mixed uh, zoning. I, I, misunderstood. I misunderstood. I thought it was mixed commercial 20 or something. Yeah, mixed. What it means is industrial commercial. Oh, it's okay. MCX. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeffrey. <coughs> Any other questions? Then uh, can we have the uh, representative and uh, applicant come forward, please? Right here. <laughs> uh, do you swear or affirm to tell the truth in this matter before the Planning Commission? I do. Thank you. Now you can say your name and proceed. Okay. Uh, before you go, did you get the uh, the conditions that were added? Yes. Uh, yes, I did. Um, my name is Olani Lily. I promise, and um, I'm the principal at um, Kaumeke Kael. Uh, my name is Louis Silly, and I'm the director of operations at Kaumeke Kael. I've got to say, I've. I really support Hawaii's public charter schools for the unique opportunities they offer students. And I've had the, the great pleasure of working in an urban environment in a charter school downtown Hilo. And, and it, uh, it's, it's challenging and yeah. it's also uh, really interesting and beneficial. I know you're, you're close to a lot of green space around there too that the kids have access to with the new ball fields and the, yeah. the proximity to Bayfront and stuff, so. Yeah. Um, uh, we, uh, I guess last year, our original home was at Keoka Elementary School. We've been there for 30 years, um, and then we were we needed to move, and so we did a hustle. And this, as we looked out into Hilo, we wanted to remain in Keoka because within our mission, it states that Keoka is our learning laboratory. So our Keiki do a lot of research up and down that coastline, and so we wanted to remain somewhat close to Keoka. But as we looked at all the warehouses out there, none of them were suitable for our students. And so, <coughs> thankfully, um, and maybe a blessing, um, the church had to vacate. And so it was pretty turnkey for us. And so it was really a no-brainer <coughs> to move there. And with the help of the planning department, we've been able to go through this in this process and get to this point. Um, and our intent is to move out of there within five years to a permanent campus back in Keokaha. Very good. Um, <coughs> any questions of the applicants? Okay, you can be seated. Um, again, we have uh, no one signed up to testify. So- uh, Sorry, Chair. I just have one question uh, real quickly. Um, did you have any concerns with any of the conditions? Or no. do you accept? Okay, no. thank you. Thanks, Miles. Uh, no one has signed up to testify, so uh, is there a motion to close public testimony? Motion to close. Second. It's been moved and seconded uh, to close public testimony. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Public testimony is closed. Uh, now we'll look for a discussion uh, and motion to action. Sure, I'll make a motion. You know, uh, my son was going to uh, Kilkai Elementary as a kindergarten, and I to see those charter school students. And I'm, uh, he he luckily got accepted to Kamehameha. He was fortunate, but and I'm glad that your students have this opportunity because there was kind of like in that cage yeah. in the front area, you know. And yeah, it's a great opportunity. You know, Chair, I mean, I move that the application for use permit docket number USE 17-071 with the added condition number two be approved based on the planning director's recommendations and proposed conditions which shall be adopted. I second. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, can we do a roll call vote, Chancey? Yes. Commissioner Miyasato. Aye. Commissioner Rafapi. Aye. Commissioner Clarkson? Aye. Chair Hinkle? Aye. And the motion carries 4-0. Thank you. All right, you'll be notified in writing from the planning director. Uh, any housekeeping? Uh, I'll tell you what, let's look for approval of the minutes from the uh, September 7th meeting. 